Tyler, and I'm here to let you know that Mother is no perfect movie. No. So the basic overall story of Mother involves a poet played by Javier Bardem, whose most recent piece has garnered him a lot of positive feedback and publicity from different people. And his wife, played by Jennifer Lawrence, has to basically endure all the unwanted attention that she's getting from his fans, as well as fighting back against the reckless behavior that's causing her psychological grief and is interfering with her home life. But the main objective with this movie is to portray several different themes that can visually and allegorically connect with the overall story. Now, Darren Aronofsky has said this in interviews, and it's true. If you walk into this movie expecting any of it to be taken seriously, you are going to hate it. Events happen that would never happen in real life. Characters say and do things that no rational human being ever would do, such as letting complete strangers stay at their house for as long as you want, just because they have nowhere else to go. And moments like that can get a little bit irritating sometimes, but Aronofsky chooses several different themes to put in this movie that he believes are interconnected and together are what cause human conflict in the world today. How we treat our planet ecologically and how we take our world and surroundings completely for granted and that we realize what we're doing is wrong only when it's too late. How we treat each other personally through civil rights issues or just for interpersonal relationships where men are shown having more control in the relationships than women do. But the theme that really stuck out to me the most was the idea that acts of compassion also have a dark side and that helping someone out of need or taking them in can do more harm than good sometimes and that there are repercussions just for helping someone simply out of guilt. People are going to walk into this movie and they're just going to be looking at the actors and not the story and they'll be shocked and disappointed because they're not used to seeing art house films, let alone an art house film with a bunch of well-known actors. And the movie's tone is so grim and intense in terms of its subject matter that there's not a ton of rewatch value to it. But at the same time, if the movie settled for a lighter tone, it would have lost all of its artistic merit. And I gotta give Darren Aronofsky and the cast major credit for sticking with their artistic vision and taking a big risk to tell a movie that has a lot more aesthetic and hidden meaning than your standard thriller. I haven't always been a fan of her as an actress, but in my opinion, I think Jennifer Lawrence gives the best performance in her entire career. I've had trouble with her in the past just because most of her acting, for me anyways, feels like she constantly shouts and makes these over-the-top facial expressions throughout the majority of her movies. But in this one, she's actually very subdued and actually has to keep a lot of hidden feelings to herself. When she walks into a room and sees a pile of dirty dishes just laying around or some clothes on the floor, or she sees a part of her floor that's constantly bleeding for reasons I'm not going to get into, just through the faces that she makes and the body language that she portrays, we can easily empathize with her feelings of being unable to do anything and also unwilling to say anything just because she doesn't want to offend anybody. And because she spends most of the movie keeping her feelings bottled up, when she actually does snap and scream off the top of her lungs, it's actually a lot more shocking and impactful when it actually happens. And Darren Aronofsky's direction features some of the best use of his techniques as a filmmaker. Many crucial scenes are shot through this thing called a body mount where the camera is attached to Jennifer Lawrence's body. So as she's moving around, it doesn't feel like she's moving, but everything else is, and as a result, the audience can instantly feel uneasy. And Jennifer Lawrence's feelings of being stepped on by other people are well portrayed through these long wide shots that make her husband seem as far away from her as possible. And one thing that I didn't realize till around the end of the movie that I hadn't really thought of was that much of a technique was the fact that this movie only takes place in this one house but it simultaneously feels isolated because of the force that's surrounding it, and claustrophobic because of all the strangers that come into her house uninvited. And because we don't know these people, we don't know what they're going to say or do, especially during the last 30, 45 minutes, I don't know. But that finale was like going through a haunted house, and as you go into the next room each time, it gets more grim, it gets more unsettling, and, there, and it doesn't rely on blood or gore or really that much over-the-top symbolism. It is just human behavior that makes us feel scared. And the movie emphasizes that to great effect. 
My main issue with the movie is that the first half hour takes a little bit too much time setting up the events that will happen later on, and the characters spend more time saying dialogue that's pretty obvious in its metaphors rather than just letting the visuals speak for themselves. There are a couple jump scares that are inserted in for no real reason other than to keep the audience's attention. And when there are scenes that do homage Rosemary's Baby, it is pretty obvious, even if you haven't seen the original movie. But it doesn't have the same overall story or style that Rosemary did. Plus, if Mr. Robot can copy off of anything from the late 90s or early 2000s and do something new with it, I don't really see a problem with Aronofsky doing the same thing here. Mother is one of the most artistic and disturbing movies that I have ever seen. It may not have a ton of rewatch value, but Darren Aronofsky's direction and thematic elements, combined with Jennifer Lawrence's performance, make for a Hollywood movie that is so unique and refreshing from just your standard Hollywood psychological horror. And for that reason, I'm going to give Mother a 4 out of 5. Guys, thanks as always for watching, and what did you think of Mother? I'm very curious to know what other people think. Be sure to let me know in the comments whether you liked it or simply didn't get into it. I can understand either one. Be sure to like, subscribe, check out my other reviews at NoPerfectMovie.com, and once again, thank you all very much for watching. Take care.